Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to install mods in Minecraft Bedrock in 2024, the easiest way I know. Let's get started with this video. By the way, it is extremely important that you keep in mind what version of Minecraft Bedrock you're playing. As you can see, mine is 1.20.62. Just go and find out which one is yours, okay? It's very important. Let's keep going. The first step is to head over to your browser preference and then go ahead and search for Minecraft Bedrock PC mods, and then you are most likely going to be here where you're going to see these three pages, CurseForge, Planet Minecraft, MCP, DL. They're all different websites that you could download mods from, and I'm gonna show you how to get mods from each single one of them. First, let's go over to CurseForge. If you want a mod from CurseForge, all you have to do is once you're over here, you click on view all, you can look for that mod that you want. Let's say that you want this one, the red more structures, which is going to add new structures to Minecraft Bedrock. You just click on the mod that you want. You click on files right here once you're here in the mod. And I recommend that you do read through the description. And as you're going to see on this video, we're going to read through the description of most mods. I mean, pretty much all of them where we're downloading them. As you can see, because it tells you what you have to do. For example, for this mod to work, you're gonna have to change the creation of custom biomes into on, right? You're gonna have to enable that. But anyways, to download the mod, once you're over here, you're gonna head over to files and you're going to look for the matching version of this mod or your Minecraft version. As you might remember from earlier, our version was 1.0. 20.62. Now this one is just available for 1.20 and it doesn't say 0.6 at the end, but you could still go ahead and try it. And for a lot of mods, you're going to be able to go ahead and try it. So I'm actually going to go ahead and download this mod for the 1.20. In order to download a mod from CurseForge, once you selected the mods and you're in the Files tab, click on these little three dots and click Download File. That will redirect you over here and within five seconds, your download will begin. That is how you download mods from CurseForge. Now, another website you could go to is Planet Minecraft. There's tons of mods in here. You can look for the mod that you want. There's tons of mods in here. There's thousands upon thousands of mods. And yeah, you just look for the mod that you want in here. Let's say that you want to download. Let's see, maybe we want to download this Joe Copper tools for Bedrock, right? We want to download these copper tools where you could use the copper for something else rather than just, you know, doing basic stuff. So you click on the mod that you want within Planet Minecraft and you click where it says download mod right here. That will redirect you over here where within five seconds, as you can see, you will get a download. You might get an ad in here, but I have my ad blocker enabled, so you're not going to see any ads, but you might get ads and you just click on continue to download and your download will begin for that mod that you selected. We had a, we have downloaded another mod. Now, guys, I'm actually going to only use the CurseForge and the Planet Minecraft mods. The reason I'm not going to use MCP DL and you are welcome to use it. Okay. I know a lot of people use it and I know it works. The reason I'm not going to use it for this video is because of the amount of ads that come up when you're trying to download a mod. And I know plenty of people that have downloaded virus, not from the mods. Okay. The mods don't necessarily have viruses, but from trying to download the mods. And in order for you to understand what I mean, let's go ahead and try and download a mod, right? Let's say that you want to download this mod. You read through the description and you want to download it. You have to go through so many ads, like for example, right here, just brought me over here and I have ad blocker on right now. This is with ad blocker on. Now it's having me click on this ad, visit another page, the connection is not secure. So in order to save all of that, I'm not going to recommend that you guys download mods from here. I'm just saying that that's my personal experience with this website and I find it a little bit shady that there's so many ads. Now, if you guys want to download mods from there, I know that the mods do work. Okay. Like I said, I'm not saying anything about the mods themselves. I'm talking about it specifically of the process of downloading the mods. There's so many ads that you might get a virus. Okay. I'm being honest with you. You might download the wrong thing. So I'm actually going to skip that website. I'm going to stick to this top two. Okay. So once you downloaded the mod, doesn't matter where you got it from. Remember, you have to read through the description. And that's why I actually kept this opening here as well as this in here, because you have to read through the description in order for the mods to work. Okay. So for example, for this one, all we have to do is install the resource pack and or the behavior pack. I'm going to find out what it is right now. And then I have to turn on creation of custom biomes. That's super simple. And I'm going to show you how to do that for this mod that we also downloaded. I read through it and you don't have to do any extra step. We are good. We don't have to change anything. But this one, we have to turn on the creation of custom biomes. Anyways, read through the description of the mods all the time. And once you have your mods that you want to install, go ahead and drag and drop them into your desktop. The way that you're going to install these mods is by first, you're going to make sure your Minecraft bedrock is closed and then you just simply going to double click on the mod that you want to install. Go ahead and double click on it. That is going to open your game and the mod is going to start installing on the top, either the resource pack or the behavior pack. For some mods, you might have to actually download two things. So don't be confused if you're in a website that says that you have to download the behavioral pack as well as the resource pack. That is totally normal for some mods. Yeah, that's just because they add different things and you have to install both of those mods and you're going to install them the same way as you will see now. Let's just go ahead and wait for this to finish loading. And as you can see, the import started in there and successfully imported 
Joe's Copper Tools Behavioral Pack. And before we keep going, I'm actually going to install the other mod as well. So go ahead and close your game. And in order to install your other mod, you can now delete this one, the one that you already installed. In order to install your other mod, you're just going to double click on it as well. And that is going to open Minecraft Bedrock again. Everything is going to start loading and we just have to wait for it to load. And then I'm going to show you how to activate those mods once you're inside Minecraft Bedrock. Once you're in the game, as you can see, it says on the top, import started, just like we did before. And it says successfully imported, so we know it's working now. In order to activate it, we're actually going to go ahead and create a new world. So go ahead and just create a new world, right, if you want and then click on create new world. And in here, this is why I say it's so important that you read through the descriptions. You're gonna head over to experiments and you're gonna turn on or turn off whatever the description of the mod said that you had to turn off or turn on. For this one specifically, we only have to turn on the custom biomes. If you guys remember, we're just gonna click on that and we're gonna click turn on experiments anyway. You could always come back in here and of course you could turn it off. And now before we create that server, you're gonna head over to behavior pack and you're gonna check that your behavior pack is active. As you can see, I have my Joe copper in here and my red more structure and I'm just gonna click activate and I'm gonna click activate for this one. And now if we go over to active, you might have to click on available, okay? Click on available, activate them. And if we go over to active, both of my mods are active. Also, sometimes you might have to head over to resource pack and make sure that some mods in here are enabled. In this case, I only have the Prisma RTX, which I'm not gonna turn it on right now. That's another mod that I have downloaded in the past, which is actually a shaders pack. It's not a mod, just shaders. But yeah, just make sure you activate the resource pack of those mods. For example, the Jules Copper, it's already activated, which is great. And now all we have to do is just finish setting up our world however we want. And then I'm actually gonna put it on creative so I could get those tools out and show you guys that the mod is working. And then I'm gonna put it on peaceful so we don't get bothered. And then click on create and wait for your world to create. And once we create the world, we should see those mods working. Like I said earlier, be very careful where you're downloading mods from. Anyways, we're now in the game. Let's go ahead and switch to first person. And I actually do have the shaders on and these are some beautiful shaders. If you wanna download these shaders, we have videos on the channel on how to install these shaders. But yeah, let me go ahead and show you that the mods are working. If we start exploring around, we could already see the more structures mod is working, the one that adds more structures, which is pretty cool actually to now be able to explore Minecraft Bedrock and have all these structures in here. And I'm pretty sure that if I didn't have um, Peaceful on, you might see some mods in here and some cool stuff. And as you can see, there's even looting here. This is pretty cool. And if we head over to our inventory, and we searching here for copper, we could see that we have a bunch of copper tools, copper axe, copper chest plate. So as you can see, this is actually pretty cool. We have some pretty cool mods in here. Our game looks beautiful. I gotta say that the game looks beautiful with these shaders. And yeah, that is pretty much how to install mods or how to add add-ons to Minecraft Bedrock. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And as always, bye bye.